Welcome back, book lovers. I'm Kayla, and I'm here with your three to read. This week, we've chosen books that are either fresh out of the literary box or soon to be, with some amazing new releases to keep you entertained, whether you're commuting or just looking to update your shelf. Let's get into it. Our hot pick this week is The Body Politic by Brian Platzer. Released just this month, The Body Politic follows four friends during the years following 9-11 and the 2016 election. Tess and her husband David grapple with lost dreams and chronic illness as Angelica deals with the sudden departure of her adrift fiancé, Tazio. With the backdrop of societal uncertainty and political tyranny, this novel switches point of view periodically, introducing us to the inner workings of both the mind and human relationships. The novel has been praised for how it honestly and brutally hones in on the American political climate, which is particularly relevant in light of this year's presidential race. For your reading pleasure, American Animals by Eric Borsuk is our coffee shop read this week. Set for release on the 31st, this true crime memoir is a coming-of-age tale about three childhood friends that hatch a plan to steal millions of dollars worth of artwork and manuscripts from a museum. This true story chronicles one of the biggest art heists in FBI history and inspired the 2018 film of the same name. The novel is short, ringing in at just 147 pages and is a page turner you won't want to put down. The tale of teenage rebellion and adolescent self-destruction is age-old, but you've never seen it like this. Follow Warren, Spencer, and Eric on this gut-wrenching ride. Our dark horse this week, You Let Me In by Camilla Bruce, is a chilling modern fairy tale perfect for fans of Shirley Jackson. If that tagline alone is anything to go by, this is a novel that will keep you awake at night. Released next month, You Let Me In is a thrilling ghost story surrounding the presumed dead Cassandra Tip, her disemboweled husband Tommy, and her brother and father who became murder-suicide victims. This is no light-hearted fare. This novel is a thriller that will bring you deeper into the mystery of what really happened out there in the woods and just who Cassie is protecting. There you have it, this week's three to read. Please make sure to like, share, and comment below with which book you're most excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again next week.